Steve Convo with the Institute of Defensive Building Practices. I'm a guy that comes from engineered wood. I know engineered wood better than most. Let me tell you what you're seeing. What you're seeing is three floor systems. One with raw eye joists, one with the red shield protection on all six sides of the eye joists, and one with an open web floor system with a Class A QAI certified protection on the lumber. That means those open web have Class A protection before they were made. It also means that Simpson has done testing to make sure that that product that's on the lumber is non-corrosive to their hardware. So you're looking at three floor systems all separated with the same ignition. We put the ignition up on a shelf because we didn't want to burn the walls like we burned in other videos. We want to try to ignite the floor system itself. They all have the same exact ignition with straw, some kindling, and a little lighter fluid so we get an even burn across the shelf. When you see that straw ignite, they all ignite with the same intensity. The flames got right up into the floor systems. The ignition is burning down. We wanted fire up in the floor system fast, and we wanted to see if they ignite. In the raw system, what you're seeing is the raw OSB on the eye joist and the raw OSB sheeting, which represents 80% of Americans' housing starts. It ignited so fast that before the other floor system burned out, you had rollover all the way across the floor system. Look at the flames, not only at the ignition source, but now they're all the way across the floor system. The red shield eye joist and the open joist, basically the ignition burned down, but we never got acceleration in the floor system itself. The coating basically repelled the flames so you never got ignition in the sheeting or the floor joists themselves. I just wanted you to make sure that there's no tricks here. They all had the same ignition, but we accelerated fast on the raw product because of the glues and resins that hold them together. In this fire demonstration, you're gonna see red lumber that did ignite in that building with the raw lumber. It's for this reason we don't want contractors building half the house with red shield and half the house with raw lumber. Raw lumber is like firewood. Make sure if your contractor is using this product, he uses it on every piece of your building, not just parts of your building. The Institute is here to teach you. You need some type of fire protection, whether it's this red lumber or whether it's another lumber that has fire protection. Don't build with raw lumber. Do the research. Find a product that has real certification. Find a product that's certified for fire. And then find a product that has Green Guard certification, making sure it's not emitting volatile organic compounds into your air quality. And then find a product that has a good liability insurance policy. Raw lumber has none. You can do the research, just don't build with raw lumber. And when you build with lumber that has fire protection, don't mix raw lumber in with it. It's like bringing kindling into your house. When you see us do these demonstrations, we might add a little more dye into the Red Shield product, but it's the same coating that we use on every stick of lumber. When we do a show or we do a video, we'll add a little more color into it so you can see that lumber has protection on everything. The color has nothing to do with the protection. So remember, these products that you're seeing with the Red Shield protection, they have mold protection, termite protection, rot protection, and they have fire protection, and it's all Green Guard certified, making it safe around children and in schools. That means it's safe in your house. There's no longer any excuse to build with raw lumber. This product is in the national supply chain, it's across the United States, and it's available to you, and it's the first cost-effective protection for raw lumber in the history of building houses with lumber. The Institute's here to support you. We're gonna certify contractors. We're going to teach contractors how to be defensive, but it's still up to you. You have to enforce it. It's up to you now. Don't count on your architect and engineer or your contractor. You find it yourself and tell them what you want in your home. At the Institute, we're going to teach you how to ask the right questions. It's then up to you to ask your contractor those questions we teach you. You want protection. You want to know what's going on behind those walls before they close it up with drywall. It's Americans that are coming in to help you. We stand with you. We help you. We want to know your story. Thank you.